My name is uh, Alfred Alcon. I'm CTO of Credit Andorra Financial Group. I'm responsible of innovation, architecture and security. Credit Andorra is a bank uh, uh, in Andorra, a small country in the Pyrenees between France and Spain. We have uh, several uh, banks around the world. Uh, we are placed in Luxembourg, in Madrid, in Panama, Miami. Then this is all the group with uh, financial and insurance uh, services. Okay. We have uh, two main data centers in place in, in Andorra and uh, other data centers that are small in Luxembourg, in Panama, in Miami. Our connectivity is based in MPLS and internet connections depend on the ca different countries. And with the branches we use also internet and some MPLS dedica dedicated lines. The main challenge was uh, to have a, a speed uh, in, de in deployment a new branch uh, uh, around the, the world. Uh, before the SD1 solution, it was really difficult uh, to, to place a, a branch. We needed a, we needed a lot of time, uh, uh, contact, and a lot of uh, uh, logistics problems. We wanted a solution for SD1 uh, with a, a security pillar, with a, a good security solution and multi-tenancy because we have different uh, banks, different insurance company, and we wanted uh, to be sure that uh, the security part was uh, important, not only the, the process of deployment of the branches. So we started studying different solutions based on data center, an NSAX uh, solution from VMware, uh, ACI from Cisco, and uh, a nice network from Alcatel and now Nokia. And this, these different uh, solutions uh, were, were evaluated uh, but the only solution that was able to provide us a good solution for the branches was uh, the SDN, is the one solution of uh, NUASH, VNS. After deploying one branch with this VNS solution, it's very easy to change the configuration to, to add new features, new uh, services with a central configuration and with a central policy uh, all around the world. And then the, the speed of uh, this, uh, to deploy this technology and, to, and the evolution and the maintenance is, is really a good thing. And the infrastructure and the service is transparent to this uh, MPLS or internet solution. We have uh, NSG uh, boxes with uh, MPLS or uh, internet connection, but you, you, we use both uh, in different situations, but the service can be provided uh, uh, independent, uh, independent of the uh, line that we can provide in, in each uh, branch. We evaluate uh, the, the the future of the company, uh, if the, the, the company is investing in new solution and adapting, for example, uh, in solution like uh, cloud, uh, uh, Azure, or other platforms, and, uh, and other standards like, uh, like uh, different kind of platforms to, to, to adapt, it's very, very important. And all this concept of a multi-tenancy is also very, very, very important for us. As I mentioned before, uh, we start uh, with uh, the part of SD1. I think that we will expand this uh, in the data center and we want to finish our uh, deployment worldwide. And uh, we have defined a model based on that technology that is uh, open and scalable. I think we will continue. Uh, also with the new features that maybe Nokia and US networks will, will provide us in the future. We are, today we have uh, connected uh, around 15 uh, uh, branches, but uh, it depends on the business that we will add in that infrastructure, because for example in insurance we have more uh, branches than, than, than other business. But I think that during this year, a lot of new branches in another business will be added to this technology.